How's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to Transformers the game with Digital Arctic 2.0 mod. In the last video, we played as Bumblebee and killed Barricade. Again. But for good this time. In this video, we're going to play as Optimus Prime and now we're going to kill Megatron. And thus put an end to the Autobot campaign. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's get this show on the road. By the way, look at this. We are in a whole new level. Digital Arctic made himself a whole new fucking level just for the ultimate doom where we're going to fight Megatron. So that's a huge indication that a whole lot of shit has changed. Yes, this ends here, Megatron. This ends here. Also, the description did say that... Me oh, oh, oh. This has to end. Wow. Start the boss fight by knocking Megatron on his ass, picking him up, and throwing him. Alright, here we go. The legendary battle between Megatron and Optimus Prime. But yeah. Okay, now he's using his shield. Another indication that a whole lot has changed was the fact that um, in the last video I read the description and it said not to expect Megatron to be alone. So he, we're probably going to have some more Decepticons spawning in to take care of him. I also want to point out that none of what we are seeing in this fight so far was in the OG. In the OG, the fight started in this area right here and Megatron was just flying around dropping bombs. Digital Arctic most likely went deep as hell into the game files. He completely changed the whole paradigm of the fight. I hope I used that word properly. What is going on? Megatron is flying around shooting a machine gun at me. I assume I probably can't do shit to him just yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're going to kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up. Get the health. That was too close. I almost died. Megatron's minions almost killed me rather than Megatron himself. Whoa. Megatron is back on the ground now and he is acting like a football player doing that football player type shit. When he's just running and ramming through everything. This guy's a problem. Let me get rid of him. Alright. I might as well just target Megatron since he's down here too. Oh wait, no. I gotta pick something up and throw, throw it at him to get him out of that. There we go. Alright, what's up, Megatron? What's up, Megs? What's up? God damn it. Blow this guy up. Whoa. Megatron is back on that shit again. Kill this guy and get the health. Quick. Alright, we're good. I barely got any health from that. Are you, huh? This game sometimes likes to do you dirty with how much health it gives you after you kill an enemy. It's so irritating. All right, but I can't let up. All these drones are gonna keep spawning. I have to get rid of Megatron himself. I'll take all that health. Put the hurt on Megatron some more. Can I have any, um, any Autobots backing me up too since Megatron is having all his Decepticons back him up? Okay, where's he at? He's dropping bombs again like Starscream. And more Decepticons just spawned in. As well as this dude over here that is running with his helicopter shit hanging all out. Oh, Lord. No, no, no. Stop him. Stop him. Stop. Prime, what do you do? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Megatron is back on the ground again. Oh my god, and I got this drone that's blowing shit away. God damn, Digital Arctic made it his mission to turn all of these missions into a whole gauntlet of pain. And suffering. And misery. Look at this shit. And I still got the, the helicopter guy to deal with too, and that cop car exploded. Most of these cars, they just explode before they even reach whatever I am throwing them at. And it's irritating. I'm tired of it. Look, I keep getting knocked back and I can't even throw nothing at him. 
die. Look, these guys are everywhere. Okay, throw that at Megatron. There we go. No, you don't. You're not throwing me off of my game. Oh, I knocked Megatron over. He's gonna get back up though. See? Let me use my fucking long combo. God damn it. The helicopter guy is coming. I'm not trying to get pinned up against the wall with Megatron. Alright, I need some health. I gotta go. Fall back. Ow. Give me your health, please. Thank you. Only one? This game is tripping, man. I swear to God. I can't even throw nothing at these guys because guaranteed I'm gonna get knocked over or some bullshit. Oh my God. Stop this guy. Stop. Stop. You hold it right there. Hold it right the fuck there, please. I wasn't even aiming at Megatron, but okay. I'll deal with him again first. Fuck, they're gonna kill me! <laughs> no! <sighs> this fucking mission, man. This fucking game. Most of the fault goes to uh, the way the game was designed. The, the core game mechanics, okay? The way some of the enemies are designed where you have to throw stuff at them, except the physics engine is so abysmal that the throwing doesn't even work a lot of times. And of course, the police and their ability to damage you, even though I'm the fucking good guy here. And in the fucking movie, none of the soldiers shot at the Autobots. They were all shooting at the Decepticons because the Autobots were the allies. They're on their side. So why do I have soldiers and military personnel and police shooting at me, the good guy, and not none of the other Decepticons, which are the bad guys here? Huh? Whose idea was that? I'm so pissed and I'm taking my anger out on you. Damn it! Fuck! Run. Oh, there! <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Threw a car at him and it didn't do shit. It is fucking criminal how bad this game's physics are. Good lord. What? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I look, I keep getting penalized for destruction, even though I'm shooting specifically at the, the Decepticons. The, in the Autobot campaign, you get penalized for fucking defending yourself. It's, it's crazy. It's incredibly stupid also. All right, let's see if this tree is going to do something to him, although I doubt it. Oh, it even woke Megatron up. That's nice. God damn it. Oh, all right. He cracked up. Oh, no, he didn't. He's behind me now. Can the game, like, stop spawning in these motherfuckers that are doing the radio blast thing? They're getting irritating. All right, what's the spawning in now? Oh, God, not these guys. Oh, God. Not you. Not you, too. Why, out, out of all the drones, out of all the motherfucking drones, why did it have to be these motherfuckers? Just why? Huh? So, somebody explain it to me. Guess I gotta take them out. I'll start with this guy first because he's the more annoying one. Great. Bro, what 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 are you doing? Die. Let me get the health. Go this way. Look at how fast these guys are. And what is that shit that they look look, look they're stunning me. They are stu what is this shit? 
Oh, oh, there's two of them? Oh, no, there isn't. It's just Megatron and this drone, too, doing the flame shit. All right, well, I'm going to have to pick who to take out first. I'm going to take out the drone. I'm not about to deal with two flame spitters at once. So I'll deal with you first, and then I'll hit Megatron. Although it was probably going to hit Megatron. It, and it did. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Can I not get any help from any of the other Autobots? Because Ironhide is still up and running. Ratchet, he's pretty useless in this game. He's a bugged, completely unplayable character. Digital Arctic did find a way to implement him in this game, too. He's just going to be standing around, hiding in the cut, waiting to give me some health if I need it. So, with that being said, why is why am I not seeing him anywhere in this motherfucker? You know, I could have really used him in his healing shit. Can these drones stop spawning in, please? They're going to keep spawning in. What the fuck ever? I got to get Megatron. That's the problem. But these guys are going to make my life a living hell. They're going to make this entire fight a living hell. Get the health. Get the health. Get the health. Ah, yes. I get some health from you, too. There we go. There we go. All right. They're going to stop spawning in once I send Megatron packing again. God damn, they're stunning me. What are, look, look at them. What are they doing? What are they even doing? Pick this car up and throw it at Megs. What's up? I was too I was way off on that timing. What the fuck? What the Oh, he's back split he's back splitting the flames again. Back to spitting the flames. Kill this guy and get his health. All right, finally set Megatron packing. So now, are any of the forklift drones gonna spawn in anymore? Nope. Good. Now I just gotta deal with this motherfucker. Hate this guy, by the way. You know, Warrior of Cybertron gets, just gets killed by being thrown around like a fucking ball instead of shot to death like the rest of them. 10 out of 10 enemy design right here. Absolutely pathetic. I hope whoever designed some of these enemies never designed another set of enemies for any other game ever again because this right here this is just ridiculous look at that look at that this is just ridiculous right here he's not taking no damage you gotta pick him up and throw him around like a ball treat him like a ball otherwise he's not gonna die he's immortal can this guy get knocked on his ass already nope what it huh i didn't even throw him that way Okay, I need some health and I need it badly. Look at how, look at my health. <gasps> oh my God. I'm about to cheat. This is ridiculous. So I don't think any more drones are spawning in. It's just me and Megs now. Oh, shit, he's still spinning flames. Come on, there's nothing to pick up. There we go. Now we duke it out. Had a few close calls. There was this one time where I almost died and I pretty much accepted my fate. At that moment I was deciding, what should I do? Should I cheat? Oh, he's running away again. Okay, all right, more drones spawning in or? Oh, hold up. Now you will pay for your crimes on he's coming back. Is he doing anything special? Nope, guess I gotta just shoot him. His health is barely going down. All right, yeah, just attack him. All right, Get back got him. Here and face justice Where's he going now? Should I go for the health first? I got time. I'll go for the health first. There's health that's right over here. It's not here. Wow, game. Okay. Guess I gotta go for Megs then. If there's no health, I'm gonna be so pissed. Come on, how fucking far away is he? He's just around the corner. There we go. 
He's right here. How am I supposed to fight him with this low amount of health that I have? Shoot down the helicopters. There you go, health. Come to daddy. Give me that. Where, where did it go? Did it land on the, it's stuck on the oh. building and I can't get to it. And I'm about to fail the mission. This game is just finding every way it possibly can to piss me the hell off. And there's no health that's spawning in either. Where's Meg's at? Do I have to shoot him out the sky? I have to shoot him out the sky now. Great. Great. That's that's just perfect. And look at my health. Health. Yes. So now I take it I have to shoot Meg's down. I'm also gonna shoot down this helicopter here and get me even more health. There we go. Oh, finally got him. I shot him out of the sky and he fell on top of somebody's uh, red Camaro. That's tough. What is he doing? He's just standing there not doing shit. Oh my god. Fuck. <sighs> Pursue Megatron to the next action zone. Don't tell me he's up on top of the building. I got a lot of time, so let's see. How tall is this fucking building? Okay. It's right here. Where is he at? He's up on top of the buildings. It's, it's a whole different boss fight from what the OG is. Apart from that segment in the park, I'm definitely digging this part where we have to shoot Megatron out the sky. And now we gotta shoot him while he's up on top of buildings and shit. Oh shit. All right, all right, I gotta get back to the rooftops. That was embarrassing. Where you at, Megs? There you are. Ah. Gotta dodge the missiles. Health is stupidly fucking tight right now. Alright. He's over there on top of the eagle. He's not gonna last much longer. Just a little bit more. Oh, he's right here. Oh, 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 that scared the shit out of me. Okay, where's he gonna land now? Right here. Oh! Did I get him? I got him! Yes! <sighs> Finally, I thought I was never gonna beat that mission. I thought I was gonna have to cheat. But no, it all worked out. Thank God. Fuck this mission, though. I like the mod. I fuck with the mod, but the base game itself is just... It's still trash, alright? A very badass moment with Optimus right here. Absolutely folding Megatron. He's like, all right, Megs, you want the all spark so bad, you can have it. Here you go. And he puts it right in his spark. For now, the Decepticons are defeated. And though it came at a heavy cost, fate has yielded an unexpected reward. A new world to call home. We live among its people now. Hiding in plain sight, protecting them, for freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Level complete. The Autobot campaign is also complete too. We have a, a bonus campaign right here. Well, not a bonus campaign, but a bonus level where we're on Cybertron. We play as Autobots, and we have to fight a whole bunch of waves of Decepticons. 
which will be in the next video and then that's gonna finish off the autobot campaign jesus christ yeah i'm gonna take just a small little break from playing this game we're gonna switch it up a little bit again play some five nights freddy's fan games maybe spongebob uh globs of doom i really liked how the boss fight was different i didn't like you know that park section that pissed me the hell off digital arctic didn't pull not one single punch with the difficulty on that part i thought i was gonna rage quit or cheat for sure but i resisted the urge to do so and i beat the boss fight legitimately so even though it is hard as a bitch it is still possible so that's reassuring yeah i'm tired i'm gonna go to sleep now thank you guys so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed keep wearing those masks keep washing those hands like there's no tomorrow take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one